Hey everyone, welcome back to Maple Syrup Gaming. Today we're going to be doing a video where we're going to be looking at the best eShop deals that are available right now. So to many of you out there, it shouldn't be a spoiler. Normally, I really like the physical versions of games. However, right now on the eShop, there are some deals that are so amazing that I can easily see why anyone who doesn't already own these games and doesn't mind not having the physical version would want to jump on them. And even if you normally game with physical cartridges, I would say some of these prices are so good that even myself, I'm going to be picking up a few digitally. So basically today's video, we're going to go over my top picks of games that I would pick up right now on the eShop if you don't already own the game because the prices are so amazing right now that it's really worthwhile picking up and these are almost no brainers in my opinion. Now we're going to start off really strong with Ghostbusters the video game. Now Ghostbusters the video game is an amazing, amazing game. It's been remastered for the Nintendo Switch and I've actually talked about this game in at least two previous videos and even at $30 I was saying that this game was more than worth it. So at $7.49 which is 75% off you can understand how I'm telling you that it's a no-brainer. Basically it's a Ghostbusters game that plays sort of over the shoulder like Gears of War. So if you're either a fan of Ghostbusters or just a fan of, you know, shooters like uh, Gears of War, well, you'll probably love this Ghostbusters game. And on top of it, uh, if you are even know the series, this basically was written and voiced by all the original actors from the original movies. And it's actually the spiritual Ghostbusters 3 from the original series that actually never came to be. So whether it's for the gameplay or the storyline, I mean, this, in my opinion, if you're going to pick up one game on all the list we're looking at today, uh, make it Ghostbusters, the video game remastered, uh, I'm almost sure you won't be disappointed. Now, most of these deals that we're going to be looking at today are going to be here for quite a few days. However, there's one I wanted to look at that the deal is running out, but the game is so good that if you watch this video when it just goes up, you'll still have a few hours to pick it up and it's really worth it. And that is Unravel 2. If you haven't played this, this is really uh, an awesome platformer. It can be played either solo or two players together. And honestly, the physics in this game are so amazing and the puzzle solving is so great that you won't be disappointed. And normally for $20, this game was already an amazing deal. And right now, once again, it's 75% off. So at $4.99, this is another no-brainer. Like if you haven't played on Ravel 2 and if you like platformers, pick it up. You will not be disappointed at all. Now, if we keep going down the list, uh, I'm stopping here at the Lego, uh, basically Harry Potter collection. And I'm not going to stop on each one of these games, but the Lego collections are really, really fun games. If you like the movie series that they're based off of, you'll really like the humor in the game. And if you enjoy basically platforming and like puzzle solving, you'll love these games. Obviously, I would focus on the movie series that you like the most. But right now, pretty much every one of the LEGO series are heavily on sale, going between 50 to 75% off. And honestly, these games will give you hours and hours of gameplay. They're basically collectathons. So if you're a completionist as well, you'll love these games. I'm going to point out the others, but I'm not going to stop on them like I am for this one, because I think I made my point. If you like this type of game with a little bit more laid back gameplay, you're going to love the LEGO games. Mario Rabbit's Kingdom Battle is another one I really wanted to mention. Now this basically fuses Mario with the Rabbit's franchise in an XCOM style tactical shooter. So if you like tactical shooters, you'll love this game. If you like Mario and you've never played a tactical shooter, it's presented in an easy to understand way. And at $15, it's a great deal. The only little caveat that I would say is that I've seen this game on Black Friday go for $19.99, uh, the physical version. So obviously, if you are a person that likes the physical version and doesn't mind maybe taking a chance and waiting a few weeks, uh, you might get lucky and have a chance to pick it up for around $20. But if not, at $14.99 for the digital edition, it still is a steal. Gameplay is going to last at least 
15 to 20 hours on average and you even have an expansion for the donkey kong series that you can buy for it afterwards it's it's really a great game all around now just stopping for a few seconds like i said i'm not going to spend too much time but Marvel Lego Super Heroes 2 is also on sale for 70% off, making it only $8.99. I actually just replayed this game recently with my youngest daughter. She loved it. Even I had fun playing through it again. Uh, once again, same thing. Lego series, go with the ones that the franchises you love. You will not be disappointed with these games, I guarantee you. So the next stop is Assassin's Creed The Rebel Collection. In this collection, you get two great Assassin's Creed games, and right now it's 50% off at only $19.99. You get Black Flag, and you also get Rogue. Uh, a lot of people consider Black Flag one of the best Assassin's Creed games. I don't think I need to explain to you what Assassin's Creed is, as there's so many games and pretty much everyone has come across one, but it's basically an action-adventure game. Uh, along the lines, ugh, I would compare it the most to uh, maybe uh, Tomb Raider, but for the next century and, you know, much more bloody, much more violent generally. Uh, the storyline gets a little out there, but at the same time, these are great games. You're going to have hours of gameplay and you're getting for $20 two awesome remasters. The next game I want to take a look at is a big one, Pumpkin Jack. It actually just came out, I think about a week ago. It's already 20% off, obviously, probably because it's Halloween and it's Pumpkin Jack. Uh, but this game is amazing. It's an action platformer, very reminiscent of the medieval series from the PlayStation era, if you know that. It was actually remastered for the PlayStation 4. And Pumpkin Jack, in my opinion, Although some of the visuals at some points are a little bit lower, uh, I would say is almost a medieval 2.0. The gameplay is funner. I find it's more polished. And what's odd is this is an indie game. It was made by only two people. It was programmed and developed by one person and it was ported by another. But it doesn't feel like it. And this is honestly, like, if I had to give it a score out of 10, this is like an 8 out of 10 easy as an action platformer. And honestly, it's probably a brand new franchise starter. I really hope that the developer of this game uh, either gets picked up or uh, he himself decides to continue on the series because uh, if you play this, you won't be disappointed and you're going to be wondering why it was launched as a budget title at $30 and it's already on sale 20% off of $23.99. This is de one definite pickup. I wouldn't wait. It's probably going to get cheaper eventually, but... This game is so good that I would just pick it up at $23.99, like, you know, no, no side thoughts. Next, we have an awesome platformer, Rayman Legends. Uh, at $10, this is an awesome pickup. If you like platformers, if you like Mario, uh, this is a 3D sprite 2D game. So the levels are in 2D, but the sprites are 3D. So it's, you know, reminiscent of new Super Mario Brothers, sort of. But Rayman Legends at $10 is a steal. This game normally physically goes for around $30, so at $10, this is an easy pickup on the eShop. It's 75% off of its normal price of $40, but honestly, Rayman Legends, it, it, it's a standard platformer. Like, basically, if you've played platformers, it's just a really, really good and polished one, but you won't be disappointed. It's a great game, and for $10, it's really worth it. Now, quick side mention, another one of the LEGO games. We have Lego Jurassic Park for $11.99. You know, as I said earlier, if you like the series, very decent pickup. Uh, quick mention as well, Trials of Mana. It's $34.99 instead of $50. However, if you want my personal opinion, a lot of channels are saying that it's a good time to pick it up. I would wait. With Black Friday right around the corner, uh, there is a good chance, in my opinion, that the actual even physical version will drop lower than this. Because the game came out at the beginning of the year, Black Friday would be a good time for it to drop. I've already seen it dropping around 40 bucks physical, even 30, I, I believe, at one point. So I wouldn't be surprised that the physical edition within the next two, three weeks for Black Friday is going to drop even below this. So um, I would hold off on it personally. I just want to mention it because some people might be tempted. Uh, and I mean, don't feel bad if you go for it, but I would wait. However, in the same series, the one that I wouldn't wait on and that I would pick up for 20 bucks because the physical version, in my opinion, won't drop any lower than that, is Collection of Mana. 
Collection of Mana is three great classic games from the Mana series. Even one version of the game that was previously never released in North America. Now, the only thing is these are action RPGs. I just want to warn you, one is from the Game Boy era, two are from the Super Nintendo era. So we're talking about older games and they're not remasters. They're really redesigned, they're relocalized for North America, but they are still very, very true to their original versions. So you have to like retro gaming to like this collection. But for $20 instead of $40 for three awesome games, this is another really, really easy pickup in my opinion. Uh, collection of Mana, I even have a full review on my channel. You can go check it out if you want a little more information. But it really is a great gaming collection for $20. Next, we have the two South Park games that I wanted to talk about. So you have the Stick of Truth at $11.99 and you have the Fr Fractured Butthole. Uh, at $14.99 and these are South Park basically RPGs. Now if you like South Park you're gonna love these games. The humor is there, the design is there and on top of it they're, they're just good games. Like the games play well, they're well designed and the story is actually really really funny in both games. So these two games at $14.99 and $11.99 are just amazing. Physical versions generally go for around $30, so at these prices, I would really not feel bad going for the digital versions. Uh, they are really, really great pickups, either one of them. Obviously, I would probably start with Stick of Truth and then end, or end with the Fractured Butthole, but I would pick them up right away because you have about seven days remaining on this sale, and I think this is the lowest I've ever seen them on the eShop so far. I'm not really sure these games are going to drop any lower than this, especially considering that one of them is $60 normally. So honestly, great pickup, both these games. Another game, however, that I just want to mention that I would hold out on is Burnout Paradise. Same reason as previously, I am expecting this game to drop for Black Friday in the physical version. Uh, it's a great game, however, uh, it was released $50, it's a remaster. Uh, I n expect that the people that made the game didn't expect it to sell that much at 50 and really, you know, but really go fly off the shelves on discount. So I'm expecting that in a couple of weeks, this one will probably hit close to this price physical, if not even lower. So I know, a f I've, I saw a few other channels mention that it's a good time to pick it up. I'm not saying it's a bad time, I'm just saying I would wait till Black Friday unless you're really burning to play this game uh, because in my opinion it will drop probably a little bit lower. Lego DC uh, Super Villains, another good Lego pickup, $17.99, eh, feels a little less good than the others. It's still 74% off but its regular price is much higher. Um, I could maybe say wait on this one but if you're really a huge fan of Lee Lego DC Villains, well go for it why not at $17.99 it's still a decent pickup. The next game however is definitely a good pickup. Uh, Alien Isolation. Now not only is the game good but if you have watched or is a fan of the Alien movies Alien Isolation is probably the best v game translation of that of the Alien series. It's basically a survival ho slash horror game but What's really awesome about this game is that it's actually a port for more powerful systems, but the port is so well done and so well optimized for the Switch that it's probably the best version of the game that we're getting here on the Nintendo Switch. So I would say that honestly, especially if you're in the Halloween horror mood, uh, Alien Isolation is a definite pickup for me. And at $20 rather than its regular $34.99, uh, it's an easy... You know, it's a, it's a really good price. It's a really good price, and the physical version is still going for more than that. So I feel comfortable telling you guys, Alien Isolation, you won't be disappointed. Pick this one up. Now, honorable mentions, the Mega Man series, either the Mega Man X or the original Mega Man series, they're all $10 right now. But this is a sort of a reoccurring sale. Like, this happens about once every month. These dropped $10 for Mega Man X Legacy Collection Part 1 is $10, Part 2 is another $10, and then you have the Classic Collection, which is once again split into two parts and $10 each part. 
Uh, it's they're good collections. You won't be disappointed if you like retro gaming. If you like a little bit of you know difficulty in your games. However, uh, you know the only thing is you can wait because this sale reoccurs regularly, and uh, it's not as you know it's not as great as the other games just because we see this sale all the time. Now, a special one for retro fans: Haunted Halloween '86 is an actual port of an NES game. It's an NES game that came out, uh, I think, two or three years ago. Yes, a brand new NES game came out, and it's really an awesome Halloween-themed beat-em-up at $3. This is a great pick. If you like retro gaming, this is a great pickup. The game is difficult, though. It is limited because, like I said, it was actually made as a cartridge for the original NES Nintendo system, but at the same time, for $3, this is an awesome pickup. I would easily say that this is one of my favorite retro games of the last five years. Uh, but, you know, just be aware, like I said, the graphics will show that it's from the NES era. Well, guys, that was about it for my list of great pickups right now. And I'll be honest with you, I could have probably gone on for another hour because there are so many great games on sale right now. So I really want to hear from all of you out there if there are any games that you would really recommend as well. And I know I skipped a few. Like there, there were so many games that were are good deals right now that I had to skip a few just to focus on the main ones that I really think are the best deals to pick up right now. Just because the sale prices there are at, I'm not sure we're going to see them again for a while. Uh, so that's why I focused on those games. But if you think that there are other games that should be picking up that are on sale right now, please leave it in the comments down below. It'll help out other people watching the video. Uh, at the same time, I would like to hear from you to know if you like these style of videos, because I know it's a new style for me. But uh, I really like doing the video this way, where we're sort of, you know, off the cuff and just going through games and seeing what's awesome and what we can really, you know, are good pickups. Now, if you did like this video, also, please don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe if you aren't already if you want to see some more content. It really helps the channel out a lot. Also, don't forget to hit that notification bell so you know when all my new videos come out. And as usual, I hope I'll see all of you in my next video.